And we're back. It's Venomisto with another Vocal Extraction Pro Tip for Audionamics ADX Trax Pro 3 SP. All right, so today we're going to be looking at the Smart Attenuate tool, a really powerful feature of the Spectral Editor. Let's get into it. All right, so today we're going to be looking at the Banks track, Gemini Feed. So all I did was did the automatic separation, a little bit of pitch guide refinement, and then brought it right into the Spectral Editor. Let's first listen to the original track. Convince me of the people that they don't care about. All right, and now the refined separation. Convince me of the people they don't care about me. Pretty solid. Took out all that low end and all that bassy content. The one thing that's really holding us back now is the snare. So let's look at one way that we could get rid of that snare. The obvious way would be to use the <clears throat> time selection tool. Command X, cut it out. Now we just removed the snare transient body and tail. Let's see what this sounds like. So we got rid of the snare. We also got rid of the vocals too. Let's go ahead and undo that command Z. We can use something called the smart attenuate tool. So let's go ahead and unpack this. What the smart attenuate tool does is it will take what you've selected and remove only what's different about that compared to what's around it. So again, I'll use the time selection to go ahead and select just the snare. Now you can see this blue box around it. This is the learning size or the learning area. Now I can adjust the size of this area. I can also center it. So what the tool's going to do is it's going to look at the whole learning area and say, okay, what's different about that versus my selection and just remove the delta. So you can see here we have the nice fundamental frequency and all the harmonics coming up of the vocal. So I'm going to want to focus the learning size on that area center it so it's right on that area okay the selections on the snare learning size has the melodic content around it we can leave attenuate at 100 percent and now let's process it let's take a listen so without dipping the vocals it's removed that snare transient and so on not 100% gone, but again, we want to always begin with the end in mind. So if I'm using this in a remix contest context, it doesn't matter as much because, you know, I'll bring it into my DAW, I'll process it, I'll throw some effects on it, and it will sit in an arrangement. If it's being used for a forensic purpose or going to stand on its own, it's more important and we could go in and be even more fine-grained in Spectral Editor. We'll check out how to do that in a further pro tip video in the future. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and continue removing some of these snare hits, and then we'll listen to this passage. So again, I'm going to adjust the learning size, adjust the centering. I'm going to remove the difference in the selection versus what's in the learning area. Attenuate. Again here, I'll go ahead and select this. Got a decent learning area, centered well. Attenuate and remove. Finally, for this last one, I'll actually probably be able to just cut this right out because the vocals have already tailed off by then. So I don't think we need to use Smart Attenuate. I'll go ahead, Command X to remove that. Now let's go ahead and listen to this. Let's do a quick AB. Convince me of the people they don't care about me. Convince me of the people they don't care about me. Nice. And we've got ourselves a much cleaner vocal extraction. All right, so today we looked at how to use the Smart Attenuate tool in the Audionamics ADX Trax Pro 3 Spectral Editor to remove some unwanted content and get a cleaner vocal extraction. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my YouTube where we post weekly pro tips and other music production content, or check out Venomisto.com for some of my original compositions. Until next time, peace.